you got to South Carolina. You went in, you went off, and then like something happened. Like what was going on in South Carolina? So like uh, my freshman year, I came in, had another running back by the, by, by the name of Regis Edgerson who came in, and I just I I love to compete. Um, okay. No matter what, no matter how it is, I'm going to compete for for a job. And I got to South Carolina, and I played. I played. I beat the incoming freshman running back Regis. I beat him out 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 of, you know out, out the job. So he was no. I just had uh there was Ryan Brewer who was a senior. Uh, 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 another guy, Dakis Terman. There's another guy. Um, there was another guy. Um, uh, he was another senior running back, but he was leaving. And pretty much, I was. I got a lot of playing time. Got a lot of playing time. Did pretty well. I think I only I rushed for like what 300 yards my my freshman year, which which was okay. I didn't touch the ball as much. I got some a good passing yards out of the backfield, but I was going to be that guy going into my sophomore year. I was like, all right, I'm going to be the starter going into my sophomore year. Um, so I, I did well, and I was like, all right, I'm going to be that guy going my sophomore year. I pretty much everybody that came in with me, I beat out, and then the, some of the guys that were there, I already, I already beat out. Um, but then you know. It was funny, Regis, the other running back, he was my roommate. It was myself, Regis, Troy Williamson, and his other uh, wide receiver named Andre Hemphill. We were all roommates. Okay. So here I am, the running back I'm competing with, I already beat out. <laughs> so he already accepted his page that, like, yo, Katie, you're, you're good, you're a dog, right? Right. And he's the one, and what happened was he was the one that noticed everything. But see, you got to think, like, my father had all this information from his experience with dealing with guys and 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 players and dealing with college players and, and that level of football and understanding the game and how the game worked and understanding the politics of football. Right. He knew all that. So we had a, a, a pretty much leverage on that side of things. Mm -hmm. So we he handled that. So it was funny because I think my jersey number was 22. And this other young guy, he was uh, being recruited by the name of Demetrius Summers. He's been recruited. I remember. And um, we were in the, uh, the library, the this cool, this school bookstore where they sell like jerseys mm -hmm. and they had all these 31 jerseys that being sold and they rarely had my jerseys being sold. So Regis was like, yo, he's like, okay. He was like, why they got these 31 jerseys? They should be having your jerseys in here. Right. Like being sold. He's like, man, this don't make no, this don't make no sense. And I noticed it. And I was like, and I called my pops. I called him and I had a little, little, little bootleg Nokia phone, like with a big battery pack <laughs> that you play like the little snake game on. Yeah. <laughs> you have, I had about like 20 minutes on it. You had to like pay to put minutes on the phone. Mm -hmm. So I told my dad, I told my dad, and I was like, you know, I, I don't know. I didn't have to call and tell him, but I just told him. I was like, yo, this is weird because he just pointed this out. Come to find out it, it would be a, 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 a big thing because I told my pops, like, yo, I was like, dad, I'm in a bookstore and – they don't have none of my jerseys for sale. Like they have all Regis, uh, not Regis, but this other number thirty-one. This guy's not even here yet. His jerseys for sale. And my dad was like, "Oh, snaps." He's alright. The fix is in. He said, "I already understand." He said, "Son, let me break it down to you." He said, "This is how the policy of the football works, right?" He was like, "They're not gonna put a kid's jersey for sale because that's how they make their money too off these jersey sales, unless somebody is telling them this guy's gonna be our starter. Mm -hmm. So they're not gonna put." 31 who's not even there yet for sale if they're not thinking all right he's going to be the starter because you know that's money that the school is going to make so he's like somebody's telling somebody that this guy is going to be our starter so right. you're going to have a, a uphill battle so they're not looking at you as the starter they're going to kind of push you out the way mm -hmm. and they're going to make you like so he's like we got to get you out of there he's like because the fix is already in it's like you're not going to win this battle no matter if you're the better running back you're not going to win this battle that's what you can do that's there's nothing you can do because the fix is already in. He's like, because he, they're already telling somebody to market this guy and sell these jerseys behind closed doors. But nobody, nobody else would notice it, would would see this and recognize this. So, so yeah, like, wow. you think about it, because I think he was like all he was like recruiting rise. He was like all world. This is before like the twenty four seven and all. Yeah. This. He was like, or maybe twenty four seven just started, but he was like parade and. All Everything not, right now, not not, and that's not like saying you was chopped liver and then like, bro, like you was high, <laughs> like you know, you, you get what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Being yeah. a South Carolina kid, right? And yep. he goes in, it's like, oh yeah. I mean, you you can see it, us being at our age now, we can see how that happens. Oh, we're gonna take the Correct. hometown boy, in. Who, who yeah, the hometown there? kid, bring him in, right? And and that's what happened. But my pops was like, yo, he's like, okay, this is what I want though. He's like, we're gonna transfer. But you can't tell them where you're going to transfer to. 
He's mm-hmm. like, because if you tell them, because back then colleges, they can grant you your transfer papers or they can hold you right. and just keep you there and, and pretty much jail. You just got to suffer. Right. So right. he was like, if they ask you, because he's like, he was like, they're going to ask you where you're going to, where you want to transfer to. He's like, just tell them like some Penn State, Michigan, Texas, somewhere that's not an SEC, somewhere far off. Don't give them any idea that you're going to transfer within the SEC. Like, don't tell them Georgia, or Auburn, or or Tennessee, or somebody that, they, that they're going to play because they don't want to have to face you. Mm. So don't. He said, lead them on a on a different route. Put them on route I ninety five, not eighty five. You know, or right. somewhere not close to home. So like, all right, cool. I stuck to the plan. Right. So they was like, all right, we'll grant you your transfer papers, and they granted me my transfer papers, and. That's when I was able to transfer to spring of 2004. That's oh, when wow. I was able to transfer. So, and, you know, they wasn't expecting me to transfer to Auburn. And it was like, so, so it was, it was cool, man. But just that whole experience, knowing well, how they to can, sit. Yeah, I had to sit out a year. I had to sit out a year. Yep, so I set okay. out that. That's what our Auburn went uh, undefeated in 04. So I set yep. out that 04 season. And then that my first year being able to play, that's when we were able to play South Carolina that first year. Oh, wow. 